Okay. So this is part two of three. Two of three, hopefully. <laughs> uh, the last video was just supposed to be part two of two. This is two of three. So I'm going to have to go through this quick. Or else it's just going to be part three of four or three of five. Okay, so I went through uh, the issue of Islam. Was there an old oh, moment? You know, there were many of them. And then dumb thing like do things still roll in your mind in Arabic like expressions you used commonly or forms of praise that the one I can't get out of my head or food restrictions was a big deal when no longer an issue uh, yes uh, abs absolutely the eating of pork I'm still skittish about um, I actually still do wadu um, you know, washing the hand, right hand three times, and then uh, there's a few different ways I was taught. Um, wash hand three times, then washing uh, the left hand three times, then washing the right hand up to the elbow three times, then the left up to the elbow three times, um, right foot, left foot, um, uh, the mouth. Uh, the water up into your, sucking the water up into your nose, and it, it's almost like water boring, it's like drowning, you know, um, the ears, bend ears three times, and then the <clears throat> three fingers through your hair, <clears throat> now I've heard this switched up saying, you should do right hand three times, and the right hand up to the elbow three times, or, you know, in the other order, but then the feet last, so there's, I've been talking conflicting things by people when they say, oh, this is how it was taught, um, I still, when I'm washing my stuff, I, like, and this was, this was actually more common, uh, when I was closer to the time that I had, uh, stopped going to the masjid, um, basically for the sake of just conscience, um, and I, I would still catch my, I'd, I'd wash my hands and I'd, I'd catch myself doing it three times and then up till, and then, you know, the mouth and nose. And nose, it's like, <laughs> that's the funny thing about water burning. Water burning is a horrible, evil, torturous thing. Um, but I, I'd say that the worst people to do it would be uh, the Muslims because we have practice of <laughs> it's, it's like you suck it up your nose. It's almost like you've just been swimming. It's, it, 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 it's funny. I actually still do that, um, especially just because I'm a smoker. But it, I feel it's a good practice to get into. But when I wash my hands, I find I automatically do wash my hands three times each, each one of them. Uh, so that's still on there. Um, early on, I would, I would uh, get Bible verses and chronic verses mixed up. Like, um, I would say to somebody, it doesn't say in the Bible that uh, we could become as low as cattle or as high as the angels. And people would be like, what is, where is that from? And, oh, that's, that's a Hadith. Sorry. Um, or, oh, it, 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 paradise is under your mother's, you know, trying to, like, just tell people, you know, paradise is under your mother's foot, this and that. So I'd still, it would still come in. Um, but it was many, this, a lot of the things were good. Um, so, yeah, and there's still that today. That's why I don't like saying I'm an ex-Muslim. I don't like making a point of that. I'm not, no Ergun Kanner or Waleed Shobad. It's not... Oh, and then I saw the light, and I can't. It, uh, I don't want to give that impression. But yes, there, it, it comes back. It's it's like an indelible stamp. Moving on, uh, how did you? Where did where did you first learn the EO? How and of whom? Uh, actually, what I was told about the Eastern Orthodox Church when I was younger is that at the Council of Nicaea, uh, the Western. Um, the Western Church, uh, the issue was the Western Church wanted to remain celibate, and the Eastern Church wanted to have married priests. The, the West wanted to have celibate priests, the East wanted to have married priests. Now this is, this is, this is fiction. Um, uh, just like uh, Constantine being the first pope, or uh, Marcion being dealt with at the Council of Nicaea, Marcionism being dealt with at the Council of Nicaea, or the books of the Bible being 
um, addressed at the Council of Nicaea of what would go in the canon. Uh, it, it, it's fiction, but th this was this was what I got um, from again my father, who was uh, in his own way just because immigrating to America. I mean, now it's funny. He's actually. Um, very pro Republican, but he has a lot of criticisms of Bush and and, and things like that. This um, I've actually caught him watching Joel Olstein, <laughs> so it, it's kind of funny. Um, uh, in the, during the the seventies, uh, when my parents were over already over here by the seventies, um, so at, at that time it was during the seventies. It was very we're American. This is America. I mean that's. I think that was like pretty much the last of the generation still, you know, not kind of not wanting to hold ties to the old country, but also remember um, the Arab part of my family did live in Argentina um, for a while. So I have the I have the the Arab ancestry and the Colombian Argentinian ancestry from Argentina. So it was it, it, it's not like directly from Syria. It was. Uh, Syria by way of Argentina, so um, I just, because of my grandparents, I just say uh, quarter Syrian, uh, quarter Latino, when it, it might be more Latino than Arab, or the Arab, I, it's kind of, it's hard to trace back. I actually do want to do uh, one of those very extensive genealogy things, um, and the National Geographic thing, which Originally, the thing was free where they you'd swab your mouth and they do your genetics for free. Now it's like seven hundred and ninety nine dollars. Um, so th that has a lot to do with like the the cultural things that I got. The eel, okay. What what really struck me is I took a philosophy class and I was, you know, just coming out of Islam. I was still very adamantly uh, we should have Islamic state, no secularism. Um, you know, Islamic State would be better, uh, very militant, very readily to defend Islam, uh, very vocal about it. Uh, many times I, I would laugh and say, well, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, you know, I, I just ignoring what, what I had already transitioned Christianity, because I already marked a date, February 2nd, when I just said, okay, fine, I don't care, Jesus died for my sins, or something, I didn't know, and I didn't know what that meant. And I didn't have the idea of being saved at the virgin birth. I was still like, well, maybe that got added by the Catholics into the Quran, or maybe it was the other way. Or um, I didn't still didn't believe, I didn't know that any, any Christian actually thought the Bible was infallible. Um, I didn't know that they believed that they were saved. Like, oh, I'm saved. I, that was totally alien to me. Um, many things. So I would still uh, be very adamant, but I was very against atheism. I just couldn't stand it. I thought it was obnoxious, uh, and I, I just thought it was just ridiculous. And there was a philosophy teacher, <laughs> you know, we, me and my friend Jeremiah was kind of a hippie. This is when we were doing drugs and a lot of stuff like that. Um, and uh, we, incidentally, he's actually a famous producer, not a famous producer, but he's a movie producer in Hollywood. Uh, if you go see low rent horror movies, he's the producer of it. Um, many of them. Uh, we went into this uh, philosophy class. This was like 2001. Um, and uh, we started talking to the philosophy teacher afterwards because we were, we were both convinced he was an atheist. My friend Jeremiah was from a very evangelical household, very Wheaton evangelical. If you know anything about Wheaton, Illinois, it's where all the Bibles are published and printed. Um, and he said, well, you know, I was an evangelical and I was, you know, my parents were going to bankroll me. You know, they said, you know, you got to clean up and, and go to college. And they were going to bankroll me to go to college, a Christian college, but in Southern California. He's like, hey, it's the late 60s. Hell yeah, I'm going out there. And he got into reading the Church Fathers. This was the first time I had heard about the Church Fathers. And he said, you know, he started naming them. And he said, and you're left with only one decision. He says, you, you are either you either go to the Roman Catholic Church or the Eastern Orthodox Church, and he actually, um, the the church, the school, I forget what the school was, but they actually kind of put the quash on his study group because uh, he was getting a lot of people to uh, quit 
being evangelicals and going to uh, the Roman Catholic Church or the Eastern Orthodox Church. So this is where I was introduced to the Church Fathers, just by this. And um, I had the view, oh, well, the East and the Roman Catholics are just the same thing. It's just the C's, the original C's, uh, because that's the Roman Catholic view of it. Of They're not heretics, but they're kind of schismatics. And <clears throat> Now, I had... Uh, was working at Whole Foods. I don't know if they have those around you, but I, I was working at Whole Foods, and I, um, I was going to the Anglican Church. That's that's how I met a priest that went to the Anglican Church. Because I was like, oh, I'm reading in Church Fathers, and he was astounded. So we were talking about Polycarp. That's why I was checking him out and lying. You know, you doing run checker. And uh, so I started going to the um, uh, the Anglican Church, but also there were Orthodox people coming through there, and they. I saw one of their medals. I said, oh, that's a medal, isn't that? They invited me to their church, which was Holy Transfiguration Parish, Antiochian Orthodox Church. So I went there once, twice, and I, I was like, oh, it's kind of strange. And then um, I was mainly going to the Anglican Church, and then me and my friend, we were uh, high and on acid, and then we walked in night one night at, at Vespers, and we're sitting there, and it was just so outside of the world, and the chanting was just so like beautiful and everything. So I'm like, wait, I gotta come back sober. This was kind of, it was kind of like freaking me out and everything, and it just grew into me. And I didn't believe or accept everything right away because I had already gotten really Protestantized, which my original beliefs were more in tune with. Um, orthodoxy than all these constructed things about, oh, I'm saved and Christ died for the sins against God, who had, God was angry at me. Was, so um, it was actually going there and just being open to an experience again, instead of kind of just going there and being like, I, I, I don't know what I'm, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here, this or that, you know. Um, and I started actively going, um, and so did my friend. I wound up being chrismated and kept going. Um, my friend, we had a falling out over um, over an incident, neither of our faults, but it was it was pretty bad, um, <coughs> it, which is something I'm not going to talk about in here. Uh, <coughs> but that's how I got to learn the EO, is just going, just uh, originally being told about this, and being like, it's weird then going to the Anglican Church, and the Anglican Church was very open. They would often go to the Eastern Orthodox Church because they were trying to, they were um, not Episcopalian. They were Anglicans by way of Joss, Nigeria. So they were trying to go back to the old Anglo-Catholic, which those people I still very much respect <clears throat> because I, they do have, um, they do, uh, they do have some form of, Apostolic uh, succession, if you can call it that. Um, although under Tertullian's version of apostolic succession, they don't, they're not with us. Um, but uh, many of the Anglo Catholics, the Calvinism is rejected because Calvinism was put in there. And the new, the, the new Anglicans or the Anglo Catholics are very anti Calvinist, which is good. It's like an Orthodox form of ancient Saxon. Orthodoxy, which it was, it was kind of easy to move over to that. Although in the church there was very, I mean, in the in this Anglican church it was very free, it was very Pentecostal. There was a lot of creationists. Jesus died for your sins. It was all this kind of stuff, but uh, it wasn't hostile to anything open. And I I felt more comfortable, even just Catholics. It was like an identity Catholic. It was very weird, but. Um, that's how I eventually started going and heard of it. Um, and if it weren't for that philosophy teacher, I was convinced was an atheist just because of what he was saying about David Hume and all this stuff. Um, I wouldn't have known about Polycarp. I wouldn't have started those conversations. If I hadn't worked at Whole Foods, I wouldn't have met, uh, the Anglican priest and then, um, the, uh, the Orthodox people who went to the parish that I would visit. Um. Heat lightning, yes. Uh, I'm going to have to do this very short. Heat lightning is odd, and I've seen it here and in North Carolina. Heat lightning is where it's raining, but it's so hot that it just it doesn't hit you. It's just before it gets like 100 feet down, it's just like uh, 
very, uh, very humid, and you can see the lightning go across the clouds. Or lightning will actually strike a lot of places, but there's no rain. Uh, and I, there were people from, there was a guy from India that just came over. He said, I've never seen lightning like this outside of India. So yes, heat lightning is strange. I'll try to get something on tape for you. Heat lightning is weird. Nobody's ever seen it before. Even. And then dumb things like do things still roll in your mind in Arabic like expressions you used commonly or forms of praise that the one I can't get out of my head or food restrictions was a big deal when no longer an issue. Uh, yes, uh, abs absolutely. The eating of pork, I'm still skittish about. Um, I actually still do wadu. Okay. So this is part two of three. Two of three, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, the last video was just supposed to be part two of two. This is two of three. So I'm going to have to go through this quick. Or else it's just going to be part three of four or three of five. Okay, so I went through uh, the issue of Islam. Was there an old oh, moment? You know, there was many water up into your, sucking the water up into your nose. And it, it's almost like water burning. It's like drowning, you know. Um, the ears, bend ears three times, and then the <clears throat> three fingers through your hair. <clears throat> now I've heard this switched up saying you should do right hand three times and the right hand up to the elbow three times, or you know, in the other order, but then the feet last. So there's, I've been taught conflicting things by people when they say, oh, this is how it was taught. Um, um, you know, washing the hand, right hand three times, and then, uh, you know, there's a few different ways it was taught. Um, wash your hand three times, then washing uh, the left hand three times, then washing the right hand up to the elbow three times, then the left up to the elbow three times, um, right foot, left foot, um, uh, the mouth. Uh, the w I still, when I'm washing my stuff, I, like, and this was... This is actually more common uh, when I was closer to the time that I had uh, stopped going to the masjid. Um, basically for the sake of just conscience. Um, and I, I would still catch my, I'd, I'd wash my hands and I'd uh, catch myself doing it three times and then 